it's cartwheel time everyone yeah we are gonna work on our cartwheel on the balance beam now I couldn't make it to the gym today so I'm gonna use this little balance beam type thingamajigger that I found at the beach hey why not so I'm gonna show you what the cartwheel looks like first on the beam and then we'll go through all the tips and techniques really 
hard. Follow through. You don't want to rush it either. You want to make it nice and continuous. And before you do it on the high beam, you want to start out on a line. Get some tape, draw a line. Get some truck, I don't know, string, yarn, whatever. Just draw a line, stay on the line, okay? Obviously. And then you're gonna move to a floor beam, okay? Just, you know, one of those beams on the floor, floor beam. And make sure you have it perfectly on there. Then you're gonna move to the low beam that's slightly elevated, maybe like that far off the ground. Get it there. Then you're gonna go to medium beam, maybe about here, build up the mats around the beam, right? Or under, and then you put the panel mats on the side. All right, then start taking away of each mat at a time until you're on medium beam, which is one mat. Then you're ready to step it on up and move it to high beam. Same thing, build up the mats, take them down slowly, have your coach give you a spot before the final arrival day of the cartwheel. And then when your coach gives you the thumbs up, guess what? Put it in your brain, tell yourself you can do it, I can do it, I can do it. See yourself doing it magically perfectly. And then you're ready. And one more thing, you wanna get that floor beam, the one slightly elevated, and put it against a wall. Okay, so here's the wall. Pretend like this is on the ground. Okay, I would just go here with your stomach facing the wall. Hollow, don't let your stomach actually touch the wall, just your toes, and hold it on that low beam. Balance it, because then you're gonna get the real feel. Step down, pull your chest, a nice lunge. Then, hey, it's gonna prepare you. So I'm gonna try and do one in slow motion. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Just so I can explain the steps. Okay, so nice and tall, step out with this leg. Okay, nice big lunge. I forgot to say that earlier. Back leg goes up. As my chest lowers, my back leg goes up. Right hand first. Second hand is going to turn in. I had a little bit of an arch there. Okay, see my second hand turned in. My butt is on top of my hands. Nice big split. Now I'm going to look for my hands. My foot's going to go. My bottom leg's going to bend. Fe oh boy, pretend like I didn't just do that. Ah. My back leg's up. My chest is up. I pull it up. Nice big lunge. When you do your lunge, shoulders down, chin up. Pull those palms back. Be a professional. And there you have your cartwheel. I'll do one more fast for you. And then it's time for our end of the workout trick. Great job, everyone. Here we go. Lots of traffic here today at the beach. Oops, I forgot to pull my palms back. You know, I was just noticing when I landed, because I really didn't want to fall off, I really squared up my hips as much as I could, and I feel my whole butt. It's like a whole butt workout. Okay, so as I'm coming up, if you're slightly open, pull this hip down. This shoulder's out, pull it down. If you're a lefty and you're landing on your right leg and you're open, your left shoulder, you need to pull that down. Hip. Deep, get them straight. It really helps. I'm telling you. Now I'll do my press handstand for the end of the workout trick. I'm gonna do it this way. This way is actually harder. Let's see if I can make it. I made it. Yay! Voila. Okay, check out my other lessons if you want. And I hope you learned. And I hope you get that cartwheel. Okay, uh, have a great day. Time to go play on the beach. All right.